hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today I have a very special review this is the review of a grail doll that wasn't even on my wish list because it was just on my mental wish list because I thought it would be impossible to get this doll for a good price and I can't believe that I was able to find him I'm so excited and oh my gosh when I opened him out of the box and I saw his skin tone it was just so beautiful anyway so let's get started. Uh, this is tying another king. He's from the Another Alice series. This series, I think, is it from 2007? I want to say 2007, but I'm not 100% sure. But it is an old series. Um, the pull-up dolls are on type 3 bodies, I think. And um, they're just so hard to come by because I think they were limited to 500 pieces. And sadly, they didn't sell very well. I I heard um, when they were first released, they didn't sell very well. And so I think this is one of the reasons why Groove is reluctant to do dark skin dolls, which is a shame. I, I, I think, I mean, I don't know what was going on with pull-up doll collecting uh, back then. But I do think that now, um, especially for the market here in the U.S. and, you know, potentially, let's say just the market outside of Asia, in general, I think a lot of people will be interested in diversity. So they would be interested in dolls that have, you know, darker skin tones and things like that. So anyway, back on to the review. So uh, here is, I'm going to show you what he came with. So he, uh, he comes with his collector card. He is just so regal and so gorgeous. Uh, he comes with this scepter, which is uh, one of my favorite um items really really neat little piece it has a really nice weight to it he came with this amazing hat i mean look at the detail on this thing it's amazing guys just really really gorgeous and then he came with these hair pieces which i'm not exactly sure how they go on his head i have to maybe um look this up online they're kind of stiff um so let's show you his clothing he comes with this um let's see underneath his little coat here so he is wearing this really bright colorful top and it's a long sleeve top and this is the sleeves and i don't want to take this off but it's kind of a poofy sleeve here and then he has these kind of poofy longer shorts i don't know what the name of these style pants uh i don't know exactly he's wearing these white stockings and then his golden shoes which i've seen these shoes several times on tyings and then if you notice unfortunately when i got him um, you know, this plastic, this older plastic is kind of brittle and his foot was kind of like stiff. And when I went to just slightly move it, it broke. So that was very stressful because I had just, I had just got him for like five minutes and he already broke. So I was very upset about that. Um, I did get some super glue, so I'm going to try to super glue it back. Um, of course it won't be able to move it, but at least it won't be dangling around as you see it here uh he's then wearing one of my favorite pieces this amazing coat like cape overcoat i don't know it has this very soft furry material i don't think this is real fur it is just so luxurious and just so fancy i mean this doll is amazing guys this is the back super super handsome and then he has this long uh cape look at all that detail and that is snapped on here at the front uh, there's these snap buttons here he is just so regal and let me put him down and then on this side as you can see it's this velvety red material. So the, the de level of detail on this doll is just amazing. I mean, I think people were telling me he sold for $70 back in the day. I mean, that is amazing, you know? 
So this is the full view, so you guys can see. He is just so gorgeous. And then let's move on to his face up. And so first, of course, as you can see, the skin tone is just so unique. And I have here a mocha doll. So you guys can see the comparison. He is a lot darker. And it's just so unique. I've, I have not seen any pull-up dolls with this skin tone. It's really amazing. And this is my Dao Katoya. Her skin's slightly different. But still, look, she's still lighter than he is. So his skin tone is just really gorgeous. Um, and he was my, my top favorite from the series that I really wanted. Um, I, after getting him, I really do want to find the, the girls, you know, Alice and another queen. But even if I don't, I'm just happy with having him because he was my top favorite character in that line. Um, so let's move on. Uh, so again, here's his skin tone. So uh, his face, he has kind of these brownish uh, tones to it. Love his eye chip color. I just love how they did that brown with that blue. It just looks so good with his skin tone. Uh, his eyes do move side to side and then he can blink and they're just uh, the you know nude color with the eyeliner. And look, he has some pink details here too, which is really, really cool. And then his wig is this carrot color, but it just looks so good with the skin tone. And he does have some blushing too, if you notice. He does have some kind of um, peachy blushing, which works really well with the skin tone. Um, but yeah, so the wig is actually not a bad quality, especially considering um, back in the day how the wigs were kind of dry. But he does have some product, I think, to keep the curls in. Now turn him around so you can see so it's a longer wig uh, for a tying but he is just so handsome I love this carrot color wig with the skin tone it just works so well so I think that's it guys I think I showed you everything uh, I will actually I will try to glue uh, his foot right now to see if that works so I'll be right back Okay, so just to show you guys, I had to remove his entire uh, stocking. So his stocking is like a full-on stockings. And oh, this makes me so upset, guys. Look. This is the foot, and so it did break. So I'm going to try to glue this back on. Ugh, it's so upsetting, guys. So upsetting. All right, so I don't know, the super glue wasn't working too well, um, so I decided to put some super glue on it and also put this kind of tape around it for now. Um, I don't know what I'll do later. Uh, if you guys have any tips, let me know down below in the comment section. I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!